estimation for object oriented projects now when we have the projects where we are using the object oriented paradigm we have classes object inheritance all these poly encapsulation polymorphism so it is worthwhile to supplement or to add the conventional software cost estimation method we have already used the fp method uh, function point the use case point kokomo there are so many methods we have discussed and we can combine this with a technique designed explicitly for the oo object oriented uh, software so lorenz and kids they they suggest a certain approach how to do this how to estimate the object oriented project time effort and the duration and the person month of course the dollars the so first using the requirement model first you have to develop the estimate using the effort uh, decomposition fp analysis etc then you will use the requirement model then you will see how many uh, develop uh, use cases can be formed and then we have to determine the count of these use cases this requirement model as we have already found out the use cases we have to determine the number of key analysis classes there are certain key classes there are certain supporting classes so say you have certain number of key classes now you have to categorize these key classes in terms of whether it is no gui without any graphical user interface or whether it will be test text based user interface whether it will have gui whether it will have complex gui so every this analysis classes will have support classes how to get the support classes you have to multiply the number of key classes in the categorized way from no gui to complex gui and multiply it with a multiplier okay say if you have say analysis classes which is gui based how many classes are there just assume that there is a number so in order to get the support classes you have to multiply 2.50 with that number of analysis classes if you have two key classes you have to multiply it with 2.5 which number this is the multiplier same you have to do with other analysis classes defined into category and then multiplied by the uh, the multiplier which is given in this table and that is how you get the support classes so now you have the key classes you have the support classes now you know all the numbers of the classes and classes are the basic uh, say size estimation for the estimation of the object oriented projects so for each of these analysis classes you have to multiply what i am showing right now is like this say n numbers of analysis classes multiply if it is no gui multiply it with 2 uh, with text based inter user interface 2.25 likewise okay now when the classes are being known you have to multiply it with the that is the total number of classes have to be multiplied by the average number of work units per class now to get this now lorenz and kid they have already provided an idea they say 15 to 20 person days per class so multiply this class with either any number between 15 to 20 which which you see is better for your particular project and then you can cross check the class based estimate by multiplying the average number of work units per use case so this is how a very easy method to find out the estimation of object oriented projects basically based on the number of finding out the number of classes